In this video, we will be doing the numerical term value added method of national income. So, what was your formula of na uh, value added method was value added used to be calculated according to sales plus change in stock minus intermediate consumption. So, in order to solve this form, uh, question, let's first calculate the value addition of firm A. See, the sales of firm A is rupees 100 in lakhs. Purchase from B by firm A. So, firm A is purchasing something which is the intermediate for firm A that is minus 40 you subtract intermediate right then change in stock your change in stock means your closing stock minus your opening stock closing stock for firm A was 20 opening stock of firm A was 25 so by solving this we get Rupees 55 lakh as these are in lakhs. So this is the value addition of firm A. Now let's calculate the value addition of firm B. Sale of firm B is given to you as 200. The purchase from firm A by firm B. Firm B has purchased something from firm A that is its intermediate good. Plus change in stock is your closing stock of B that is 35. Minus your opening stock of B that is 45. Which is 200 minus 60 minus 10 which gives you 130 rupees in lakh. Now I told you that through value added method we get your GDP at market price. So add both the value addition of firm A and firm B. You will get the GDP of the economy because only two firms are there in the economy. So 185 is your GDP at market price. Now they have asked you to calculate GDP at factor cost. So GDP at factor cost, GDP, GDP same from market price to factor cost you have to go. What you do you will subtract the indirect taxes. Which is your 185 minus 30 is rupees 155 lakh. So in this way you calculate using your value added method whatever they have given. If now they would have asked the national income then some other points like N means depreciation would have been deducted if it is given in the question. Then from DP to NP we have to go that is from domestic product to national product we will add net factor income from abroad. So by this we will able to, we would have calculated your NNP at FC which is your national income if other information would have been given to us but information is limited so we would calculate only here. Now this is the question again in which you have to calculate gross domestic product at market price that you can calculate using value added method because the Items that are given to you relates to your value added method only. And the second they have asked to calculate the national income. Now these are the various sectors primary, secondary, tertiary. To, I told you before that your value of output includes the value of goods and services from all the three sectors. So your GDP at market price is calculated through the value added method by adding sales plus change in stock minus intermediate consumption. So your sales here are 800 plus 200 my, uh, plus 300, right? 
Now these are your stock, your sales. Your change in stock is not given in the question. Your intermediate inputs are given. Minus 400, minus 100, minus 50. So with this you get rupees 750 as your answer which is your GDP at MP. Now you have to calculate your national income that is NNP at FC. Now from GDP at MP we first calculate the NDP at MP by subtracting the depreciation from GDP at MP. Where is the depreciation? The consumption of fixed capital. I told you is the other name of depreciation. So we get 670 as the answer. Now, from GDP at NP, we have to go to NDP at FC, which means your factor cost. From factor cost, what do you do? From NDP at NP, you subtract net indirect taxes, which means you subtract your indirect taxes, you add subsidies. Your indirect taxes are 50, your subsidies are 20. So in aggregate, you have to subtract 30, which is 640 rupees. Then, now, NDP at FC we have reached. Now we have to convert NP and DP. So NNP at FC, you get NDP at FC plus your net income from rest of the world. Which is what you have received from the world you will add, what you have paid to the rest of the world you will subtract. So rupees 630 is your net national product that factor cost which means your national income. This is how you will calculate your national income using your value added method. I hope you like our video. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.